Welcome to Gaming Fiend, your channel for everything related to the gaming industry and the stock market. So my friends, today was again a terrible day, a terrible day. So yeah, what was the reason? The Fed rate hikes, etc. Jerome Powell was talking, so you know the story, guys. So growth stocks, big tech, they all were falling, except Tesla, actually, if you can see it here on the upper right side. So, and the rest, the rest was falling. Nvidia, 6% down. Even Intel, which is a more a value tech stock, was down. Microsoft down. Apple, even Apple down. Uh, uh, defense stocks, defense company stocks, weapon stocks, that's it. and some financials and uh, old school financials as well. So I'm not a financial advisor, my friends. I'm just a retail investor. Then this video, I'm just giving you my opinion. So don't buy, sell anything. I'm talking about this. Always make up your own mind. So this is just for information and, and entertainment purposes only. Guys, so that's the heat map. And I would say I want to talk in this video about CD project and also with regard to all other uh, uh, stocks, gaming stocks from Poland. And uh, we're going to compare them a little bit, especially with regard to the chart and to the performance. So from some of those game, uh, uh, gaming companies, uh, I'm going to make uh, specific videos. I, for others, I already made videos, so you can find this all on my channel. So CD project today, guys, I mean, I told you, I told you we are dropping, we are dropping exactly to this line, to this Fibonacci retracement. So now we're at 128, 29 um, <laughs> a Polish slotty. So you see, we were perfectly fine here. Like the last time we were at this Fibonacci retracement. And again, we had this very same Fibonacci retracement and we are already way under the trend line that I was drawing. Um, I think I was drawing this uh, already one year ago. So one year ago, I was drawing this trend line, and it was uh, I was actually, if I would, the thing is I, you know, I'm invested in uh, in CD Projekt, so disclaimer as well. So if I if I would take everything really serious and uh, would start trading, so I'm not trading because I'm a long-term investor, but of course I'm also annoyed that I lost now money and that I lost money through this drop. So of course, when we were breaking through uh, this trend line, I could have told myself, oh, now I have to sell. But then on the other hand, we were, uh, we were almost, yeah, we were going up above the trend line. Maybe we were not closing above the trend line, if you look at here. And, uh, and and uh, actually later see at this point I could have told myself nah this time we're not going above it so we're going to fall uh, we're going to continue to fall so it's very difficult to say but on the other hand uh, I watched the earnings uh, the the fiscal year earnings for 2021 uh, uh, also made a video about this here on my channel you can find it here. Uh, CD project earnings 2021 analysis a 22 minute long video and uh, my my sentiment was extremely negative after this and then we were falling 10% and then yesterday we were even falling again 5% i think it was 5% and then today again we are falling today we are falling 6.4% uh, but i have to say of course the overall market situation is also not so good so what, what, what is going on now? So what are my next steps? So I'm not going to sell. I still, I'm a long-term investor and I think, I think <laughs> that CD project will come back. So, but as so much negativity in it and this year is going to be a lost year for the CD project in my personal opinion, due to the earnings call. And honestly, it was very a negative earnings call when I now just think about it. So I also recommend it to you to, to listen to this earnings call. So this year is going to be uh, not a, not a very good year for them and they were also probably in the in the earnings throughout this year not really making a lot of money so that's 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 the reality but 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 uh the the stocks uh, stocks are trading on the on the future prices or on the future valuations and therefore on the future earnings and therefore we might even see a, a turnaround of the of the stock uh, price at one point so because we then uh, investors think like okay 23 might get much better for cd project so, but when is this happening so now everyone says this is a falling knife don't 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 uh, don't don't yeah don't uh, um, buy into the falling knife so uh, yeah this was a falling knife okay you could have sold there 
And again, this was a falling knife, falling knife. And how long is the knife falling? So no one knows. So uh, well, here it's now very red, so probably it's falling further. But if I'm honest, here really, guys, I'm really honest with you. So I, I'm very negative now. So now you can say, now you can tell yourself, so, okay, if I'm now negative and I'm a very bullish person in the stock market overall, if I'm negative, that means uh, maybe there's now so much negativity in the stock that now it has to turn around. So, well, that's that's one way uh, to play the contrarian role to yourself. But on the other hand, uh, I mean, I think we will have tomorrow a little bounce back, probably a little bounce back. But then after this, it's still, in my opinion, not uh, excluded that we might see the hundred slotty. So due to the to the negativity, it's, it's very much possible that we see the hundred slotty. So except now comes a major great announcement by CD Projekt uh, tomorrow or next week. So maybe maybe if they would bring something next week, uh, we could see a little a little turnaround. But the question is, or oh, I would not say, or I don't know if it's going to be a sustainable turnaround. That means we're going to back into growth. So for this, we need the uh, we need the overall uh, Nasdaq, the overall market also to to perform better. So, so I'm comparing it with the Nasdaq since uh, uh, CD Projekt is may, is is a growth stock, even if it is a Polish stock, of course. So, guys, so, yeah, the Nasdaq doesn't look so bad, actually, if you look now. So, 6,900, more or less, uh, down to 1,300. So, that doesn't look so bad, but, uh, of course, I mean, it's the stock market. If, if if the Nasdaq falls like this, a lot of other stocks are much more down. So, the stocks that you know here in the heat map, like an NVIDIA, like a Netflix, like a Facebook, or even an Amazon is so massively down. All right, let's compare it a little bit with other stocks. So Playway, I didn't make a Playway uh, video yet. I'm going to make probably this weekend um, a video about Playway. So Playway, also a Polish stock. I'm not invested in Playway. And they have a little bit bigger market cap of 1.75 billion Polish slotties. And the PE ratio of 40 20, that's not too bad. And a dividend yield of almost 5%, so that's pretty nice. And they are kind of the, the, the mother company of Ultimate Games. So, Ultimate Games, that's a, a company I'm invested in, uh, was trading today a little bit better. So, one day chart. 4.89 percent pretty good actually so if you look here at the chart so we are more or less now uh, back where we have been in uh, february 2020 so so i guess this, this yeah it, it, this looks like it could become a turnaround therefore i was uh, getting into ultimate games do i know it i don't know really i don't know it can also fall but uh, they don't have so much negativity like a cd project and there it's, it's a very small company and uh, 112 uh, million slotties and uh, i think seven no uh, it's 40 percent i think it's 40 percent of the of the stocks of the shares uh, belong to playway so probably it would be a little bit smarter to to invest in playway or but now i i might i might, might i might make an investment in playway so as an addition to my investment in ulti but games dividend yield 9.3 percent so so who gets the dividend playway gets the dividend so also very interesting then another stock i'm also invested in i recently bought in the stock so today uh, 0.53 percent up which is not too bad actually for such a terrible day so here the over long term uh, 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 price so yeah i would say that's it's a nice growth though so that you broke through actually here the negativity and then in, since 2022 i mean 300 percent up which is <laughs> incredible crazy so small also small market cap 278 million uh, polish slotties uh, pe ratio 7.55 so also not too bad all of this so uh, therefore uh, therefore i'm investing in cd games uh, at the moment and you can also find here uh, where is it here? You can find my uh, CI games, CE games, CI games uh, stock, uh, stock analysis. So 25 minutes. So I don't talk too much now about this stock. And then we have another stock that's 11 bit studios. That's also popular. Also already a little bit uh, bigger market cap of 1.33 billion Polish slotties. 
FPU ratio 45, which is not very good for a Polish gaming stock, I have to admit. So therefore, I'm very much reluctant actually to invest in L11 Bit Studios. Uh, it's it's just it just feels too expensive for me personally. This stock at the moment. I mean, if I look at the run, so uh, the run is the run is amazing from this stock. So let's be honest. But uh, I, I'm not excluding that this stock might fall. Uh, fall again uh, massively. So may maybe if this stock falls uh, back to the 400 uh, slotty, so I'm going to buy a little uh, tiny uh, first position and then I'm going to see if it falls further and then I can buy some more. And if it goes up from those 400s, then I'm just happy. So, but at this moment, I'm not really, I'm not really in the, uh, let's say in the, uh, I'm not really confident that it would be uh, smart for me to buy this stock. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video. It is a little comparison video for uh, one of my favorite stocks I'm invested in uh, at the moment in the gaming the gaming industry field. So CD Projekt, uh, favorite stock. I'm just saying it's a favorite stock since I'm very interested how it performs. It's simply, it's fun to look at the performance and it's a stock that it's also a little bit easier to understand than some of the other stocks that have very complicated uh, uh, structures. So therefore I'm, I'm, I'm kind of uh, happy to talk about CD Projekt and I see also that uh, that my viewer base is uh, also kind of interesting, interested in this stock. So this makes me happy as well. And then of course I like also to talk about this stock. So thank you very much guys for watching. Uh, please leave me a subscription to the channel and like uh, like this video and also of course uh, uh, leave me a comment this would be awesome and uh, then i promise you that i'm going on with those videos since i really have a lot of fun doing it and seeing my channel my very small channel growing also a little bit uh, is extremely satisfying for me so thank you very much for watching see you next time bye bye